pulling on a cigarette He's in the sky, deep in the dark And in a mix he knows the mark Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. I'm Chef Andy. Today we're doing an unboxing hyphen review. Uh, we're doing that of the uh, TFV8 Cloud Beast, baby! You know! All right, so I'm going to explain now why we're kind of doing the review and the unbox all in one. Some do it that way, some, uh, some others don't. Uh, normally I don't, though normally they're two different videos. However, um, I had been seeing some posts around town of the, of the vape community about how this particular tank had some leaking issues. Um, a lot of leakage around it, also showing some YouTube how to uh, fix the issue videos going on. So I took it out, uh, I put the coil that was in there, um, this guy right here. All right, I put it. Well, it was already it was already right in there, um, but I went ahead and filled it up with e-juice simply because I didn't want any opportunities on camera to have one of those uh, 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 moments. So I uh, I did buy an extra uh, set of these particular coils, and I went ahead and filled that up right away simply because I wanted to wait 24 hours with the juice in there to see if I saw any leaking out of my tanks. Once I decided that that was not the case with my tank, uh, then I went ahead and we started rocking and rolling and getting this out to you. So first things first, before we start huffing and puffing, we're going to tell you what's in the box. Let me see if I can get it to show on camera. I don't know if it's too small. So we'll go ahead and read it. It is the Cloud Beast by Smock or Smoke, however you pronounce it. It's the TFV8. The kit includes uh, a Cloud Beast tank, and you see that sitting right here. That is on my Lassimo, Lassimo, I can never pronounce, whatever. Uh, that's on my 200 watt Bluetooth and all the nice bells and whistles unit. We have a V8 T8 octuple coil. That's the one that I showed you just a second ago, right there. Look how big those are. All right, we've got that bad boy. Uh, I'm only bringing this out of my uh, replacement pack so you guys could see it. Um, let's see, we also have, man, I can never pronounce all this stuff, a V8 Q4 quadruple coil. That's this guy right here with the big old, big old tornado tunnel of, Look how wide that is with the notches on the side. That is huge. Just huge. And we also have, by the way, the, um, the quadruple, the, no, I'm sorry, the octuple coil. That's running a 0.15 sub ohm. And the quadruple, that guy right there, is running also a 0.15. Let me get it over there. Sorry, I'm like trying my best this guy right here is the uh, turbo rba that's running a 0.28 sub ohm so there you go there uh let's see we got a 510 rda drip tip adapter you got that guy in there in this bag of goodies that i'll whip up here in a second there's another adapter there um we have a replacement glass tube. That's right there in my finger. Okay, and then we've got a user manual and we have a tension user beware card, as I like to say. That means they're trying to get you to pay attention to something. So they wouldn't be in there if there was not a reason. All right, then uh, lastly, you have your bag of goodies. Uh, there's an Allen key that's going to be for your RBA. You've got some extra tools that are in there uh, in case you need to replace anything. Allen wrench again, uh, including these two little silicone rubber deals for this massive airflow. I think that's what it's for. That massive airflow. Look, you can see right through there. There. See that? There you go. 
All right, pause for station identification. Uh, by the way, I am uh, using my own DIY juice. Root beer is the flavor. 3% milligram or 3 milligram nicotine by volume. Max VG is what I'm running on here. And having said that, on the heels of me taking those couple little inhales, I want you to uh, uh, be aware that when you, if you're one of those people that use nicotine and you're not used to this kind of a setup or better, uh, I'm going to say or better because you're starting to get into the upper echelons and stuff. There's a, you know, a few machines, personal preference, a few tanks, few setups, maybe plus or minus depending on your personal use. But if you're not used to it and nicotine, be careful because I am used to a little nicotine and even though I haven't used tobacco uh, products in a long time, uh, I do still like a little bit of pure nicotine within my setup. It helps with the, the eating suppression and all that. But here, here's the deal. I noticed a huge difference on like two or three inhales of this stuff compared to on some of my, my, my uh, let's say, 50 watt, 80 watt. Um, I've run the same juice on them. I've even run it on my E-Leap 100 watt. Man, it knocked me on my backside. Nicotine was like in my face. Bam! And knocked me on my backside. Luckily, I was near my bed. So I just kind of let it ride out, but whoo, dizziness, and my God, have not had that in a long ass time. So, puffer, inhaler, beware, make sure that you hear it, hear it, and I say it, hit it first, right here, right here, right here. That's what Cat Williams say. I ain't going to say the rest of what he says, though. Anyway, having said all that, um, yeah, the uh, review part of it's simple. It, uh, you hit the button, man, and it's putting out a nice wallop of flavor. I've got it set. My my unit's on voltage. Uh, I've run it. It's it's got a 120 to 180 sweet spot, even though it can go up a lot higher than that. I have mine set at 150. That's my spot that I'm running it at. With that's within their 120 to 180. So um, keep that in mind. Also, when you take a you know a nice inhale of it, just Make sure you keep keep that in mind. Um, having said all that, uh, thank you again for stopping by. We got some more stuff coming for you in the next day or two, and uh, we're going to get out of here in short fashion. Later. Pulling on a cigarette He's in disguise deep in the dark And in a mix he knows the mark